before it even barrels up the coast. Tornado threats into the evening and this driver crashing in Avery County, North Carolina. Everyone survived in that crash, but the accidents today have turned deadly already. ABC's Steve Osinsami in Atlanta tonight on the driving and on the hundreds of flights canceled already. Tonight, the storm everyone's watching on the East Coast is frightening families in the South with tornado warnings and watches across Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. We have two threats here. The first is the chance of severe weather tonight. On the roads, people are getting hurt. In North Carolina today, several ambulances responded to this accident on a slippery highway that put at least one driver in the hospital. On the way home in the light snow Wednesday night, two drivers died in crashes, and police don't think either of them were speeding. It's awful. Almost wrecked coming from Newland twice. Parents in Buncombe County are still furious that schools weren't closed after a school bus filled with students nearly slid into a river. Everyone is okay. It just kind of started going sideways down the hill. I kind of screamed a little bit and my heart was a little in my knees, in my feet. The storms are already forcing airlines to scramble. 945 flights are canceled tomorrow and that number could grow to 2,000. At least 200,000 passengers will have to figure it out over the next three days. Tonight, most of the major airlines are showing a little sympathy for passengers. Delta, based here, for example, is allowing passengers to change their tickets for free or offering them refunds for canceled flights. David? It is going to be a mess for air travelers. Steve Osinsami, Steve, thank you. Let's get right to meteorologist Rob Marciano live in Alexandria, Virginia tonight with the newest track and the preps right there behind you. Hey, Rob. Hey, David, you know, the number one weapon for battling snow, and especially ice, is salt. And this massive dome has a lot of it, 22,000 tons of it, and heavy equipment and front loaders like this will be loading it up rapidly tomorrow, fanning 4,000-some trucks out, and that's just northern Virginia. All right, let's go to the maps and talk about the southern component of the storm. We have severe weather that's breaking out across Louisiana. Tornado watch out there for, for Louisiana and Mississippi for the next hour or two. And then we roll the maps. This gets in the colder air. We're going to see some icing, especially uh, parts of North Carolina, the backside of this will bring snow into Memphis, Arkansas, and then getting towards the coastline, we really start to intensify this, bring the winds in. Cecily uh, mentioned the, the, the coastal component there, and the snow is going to be heaviest, I think, during the day on Saturday, and that's when we're going to start to see things pile up, especially south of New York City. Here's our forecast, 6 to 10 in New York, 12 to 18 in Philly, 20 or better D.C., and points down to the south. This is shaping up, David, to be an epic storm for the Mid-Atlantic. All right, Rob Marciano right in the storm zone for us. Rob, Thank you.